Hello again. Uh, well, this is a really current issue for the yes or no treatment. And I must admit, a bit apart from uh, my usual subject matter, the question is, should Brittany be freed? Well, as almost everybody on the planet knows, the 39-year-old Las Vegas star of song and dance has been under a court-appointed conservatorship for over a decade due to some of her erratic behavior in the past. To some, it seems oppressive. Uh, her medications, her finances, even her sex life seem to be controlled by a committee headed by her father, her oh dear, and she wants out. Uh, others say she needs the control given her past uh, behavior. There's a vocal committed organization, Free Britney, constantly and loudly advocating in her behalf. She's vigorously supported by a number of name performers, mostly women. And most of these issues have been re-examined in a video released just a few days ago, Framing Britney Spears. The, the title, I guess, gives you a clue on <laughs> what their situation uh, is. So what are the arguments? Well, first of all, those who say that she should be freed point, first of all, to the oppressive nature of the conservatorship. She's given a monthly allowance, quite modest in comparison to her enormous earnings. There's a team of nurses engaged to ensure she takes appropriate medication. She's required even to use birth control pills. Thus, her ability to reproduce is curtailed. Understandably, she feels this is unacceptably strict, oppressive, diminishing, uh, even demeaning. Uh, next, the trust arrangement, which oversees all of this, is run by her father, with whom she has a famously dysfunctional relationship. Furthermore, he's paid $200,000 a year for his role in this. So what does he do to earn this? Uh, sign the monthly expense check, make, make sure the army of watchers are on the job. <laughs> this doesn't seem reasonable to me. Sounds almost like a scam. <laughs> uh, and the organization recently appointed to share the conservatorship uh, management role with Jamie Spears, her father, quit uh, stating that they would not cooperate in a situation where the subject of the arrangements was unwilling for it to continue. Her father appears to have no such concerns. Uh, her professional accomplishments during this time belie the notion that she's incompetent. She started a successful business with perfume and lingerie. Who she released an album. She did a one-year residency in Las Vegas. And she's generally considered her continued, really, her star-studded career without any apparent difficulty. How, how does that demonstrate incompetence? Well, it just doesn't. And you must extend a lot of sympathy to a woman like Brittany who's experienced what many others in her position have in the past. People like Amy Winehouse, Judy Garland, any famous star who makes a lot of money is going to have plenty of people trying to control his or her behavior, her artistic choices, take her money. It's quite a sad phenomenon, and we need to sympathize with that. And then finally, there is simply the question of personal freedom, uh, guaranteed by the Constitution of the United States. Uh, the restrictions on her really are self-serving for the trust. They pose an unacceptable psychological and emotional burden on her. She should be free of those arrangements. Well, okay, now what about those who say, no, no, she should not be free. They urge for the, arrange the arrangements to continue. First, uh, she herself occasionally has said that she's content, maybe content's too strong a word, but she, she, she's willing for the uh, arrangements to continue. She just didn't want her father to be part of the, the setup, and, and she does change her view on this from time to time. Uh, next, uh, she not only had the famous hair shaving incident 13 years ago, but she's had drug taking issues. She entered a rehab clinic. She lost custody of her two children. Oh dear. That sounds like somebody needing supervision. Um, in sum, she is a danger to herself. Uh, she's not able to manage her own affairs without unacceptable danger both to herself and to those around her. Oh, well, what is my take on all this? I must say, this is really a quite difficult and unpleasant situation. I, I'm, I'm aware that Brittany's situation raises a number of important contemporary issues like the unfairness with which women in show business seem to be treated uh, uh, compared to that according to men, uh, the toxic influence of the paparazzi and the press, and even the, the pressures of past uh, broken romantic relationships. 
all of these things aside, however, my position is this. We should listen to Brittany. Uh, we should do what she says. Let her take control of her life. If, if there are risks associated with that, well, so be it. We've all had risks that we've had to deal with. And it's all part of growing up. It's called being an adult. So for that reason, I say let her go and live her life. <laughs> And that's my position. I hope you liked it. Uh, perhaps not everyone will, but uh, if you did, uh, please give me a like, uh, uh, subscribe, notify, comment. 